we appreciate you very much staying with us and we appreciate the fact that Transylvania basketball is on one heck of a winning streak and you took on Manchester last weekend and this is a team that has always been at least since I've been following you they've been physical they've been big and brawny and uh, maybe not the most athletic but they will lay a licking on you if you're not careful they, they will and, and you when you go inside you better better go in strong and Alex Jones has has continued to do that uh, one of the best one of the best tough shot makers in in the conference I yeah. mean, it, uh, you know Kyle Gullett has, has given us a defensive presence inside a lot of shot blocking but uh, Alex uh, he didn't get the pass there, but he got the pass that led to the pass from from uh, from Gabe. I want to ask you this because I've noticed there seems to be a theme early in the second halves of game. Maybe in the, you get Kyle Gullett involved. What's the we, what's the strategy? We there? reintroduce uh, the team to, to Kyle <laughs> Gullett. I mean, there are stretches sometimes where where he doesn't really touch it, and um, he he it's not. Completely. That's a uh, nice sure. pass to himself. That's Pat Stadden. How about that? Offensive uh, rebound or assist? What, what, do you, what do you get when you uh, pass it to you? You get one of each, a basket and a rebound. And here, you were kind of adamant, though. What's going on in well, this? I, th I think we were down seven to nothing, and uh, we got a nice, nice text from one of our alums the other day after the Mount St. <laughs> Joe game. He said, "I don't know what you're telling them, but before the game." But stop <laughs> your halftime speeches. Wow, much better. Th those are much better. Um, we do a lot of ball screening. Uh, once teams start to really work on getting over ball screens, then we have counters. Uh, it's a chess match as, as the season progresses. Watching, we may watch three or four games to, just to figure out how do we can get two or three setups. To, um, you know, sometimes these these happen, and sometimes. Uh, there's a reason certain people are, are shooting certain shots, but I love the energy that our team team has right now. I love our um, competitiveness. I love how together we are. The chemistry is is off the charts. Uh, Alex Jones, one, leading scorer, but leading the conference in in assists oh, as yeah. well. And when you have when you have that, uh, and everybody's just feeding off each other. Uh, success certainly follows and, and we're seeing that but early on we might have stayed out on the perimeter and, and now we're, we're cutting to the basket we've got great I think I believe I was saying good good steal let's kill <laughs> a little, let's, let's kill a little time right here uh, Alex Jones for a guy I mean that's backyard stuff it is. Um, but he he has the game of a throwback because he is such a uh, he engineers so many weird shots, tough shots, knuckleball shots, but sees right. the floor like scores don't normally see. Right. The, and the crazy thing about his shooting, there was a lot. We went through a, a significant stretch of his career where he didn't shoot the three very much. Um, it's good to have Bo, Bo shoe back from an ankle injury. He hasn't gotten back to where he's comfortable. Right as, right as we get him over his ACL uh, rehab, and which went really well. Uh, you know, he gets his ankle ankle sprain. So we get him back. The, that's going to help with the rotation. But when we uh, that guy right there is good. Yeah. Yeah, he's, Tyler he's not good. I mean, he he was the player of the year last year in the Heartland Conference. He was he was at Defiance. He transferred to Mount St. Joe uh, and is a tough, tough guard. They're playing. They're playing better. This is one of their best games of the year. Um, I mean, heck, they come down, they stay at Griffin Gate Marriott, and everybody, <laughs> everybody comes to Lexington and enjoys yeah, the Yeah, why don't you put them somewhere else? Well, you know? they, they, got, they got their own on that deal. But, uh, you know, Cooper, uh, our, our driving to the basket's really good. Our flare screens are really good. Um, and it, anytime, anytime you win at home, it's, it's exciting. This game, uh, we really had a great first half percentage-wise defensively. And, and I thought that was the key. Well, I was going to say, when you look at them, Manchester shot 32% in the first half. Now, second half, they did pick it up, shot 53%. But when you look at your guys, um, it's you, it's the same duo pretty much. But look at Alex Jones at the bottom of the point total, but eight assists and Kyle Gullett, the asterisk there, that's for four blocks. Uh, you guys defensively really did a number on them and and good to see Gabe Schmidt leading the uh, offensive charge the not the sexiest of numbers here right. when you look at 44.6 percent they um, 
but the defense, you out rebound and the blocks certainly had an impact. Yeah, the, the blocks is, are huge and, and obviously you, you usually don't get uh, I don't know. Do you get rebounds on blocks? We, I, I wish we got. I, <laughs> as long as you get the ball, that's, that's I would, good enough. I wish we uh, had more blocks. So I actually knew the answer to that. The last time that we we shot that from three point land uh, was mid December against Rose Homa. We were six for twenty six from three and lost the game. I told him after the game it was really good to see seven for twenty seven, and yet because because of our defense in right. the first half. We were in position to, to go ahead and, and be able to survive a, a lackluster shooting performance. But uh, coming, coming in, we had a really good crowd. There was a game down the street uh, at a similar time, which doesn't happen very often. But yeah, we had a, had a really nice crowd. I love the momentum that, that we have on campus. I love the fact that the men and the women's team, we've won 17 straight between the two yeah, of us. Yeah, women are 13 and right, 3. Right, and just an exciting time for Transylvania basketball, an exciting time for this group of guys to see all the hard work that they put into it. Now it's coming to fruition. And you talk about the momentum, the momentum carried into Cincinnati. Uh, in the midweek game against Mount St. Joe's, when we come back, the Pios visit a familiar face and have a familiar outcome. That's next.